Hello everybody and welcome back to Banished. I hope you're all having a wonderful day because we've got a nice, bright, sunny future ahead of us. Uh, I'm not sure how much longer this series is going to run. We are sort of starting to dwindle a bit on the viewership, but I do sort of want to, you know, get something. We've got we've already done quite a bit actually. Like this is this is a pretty fair game for Banished, to be honest. Uh, we've sort of hit all the major marks. Um, I placed down a couple ore mine shafts, so maybe we can build a few fancier houses today. You know, it's one of those games with no real end, so. The end goal is kind of just whenever we or I feel that it's done. And uh, I think we're starting to get to that point soon. We've sort of explored some of the more basic stuff with the Colonial Charter mod. And, and like I said, the viewership just isn't really there, and I don't want to spend too much time on it. Um, so if you are really enjoying this, please do hit that like button, and let me know down in the comments below if you'd like to see more. Because if not, I'm probably going to be wrapping it up soon. Either way, we need to start producing some furniture. So let's throw somebody on there. Oh, and we should probably get our windows back up as well. There we have it. Lovely. Uh, what are you, event log? That's not what I want. I want this one, I believe. Yes, and then the mini mart over there. Okay, cool. So, how many laborers do we have? 29. Oh my god. Okay, time to start using them. Uh, we've got all the brews going. There we go. Let's get another homeware supplier. We are shy on food. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Uh, come and pick it all up here, please. Yes, yes, yes. Get the food, get the food. Time to throw down, I think, some more fields, maybe. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's start, let's start planting some crops, guys. So, this is our primary road going this way. Yes, it goes there. Okay, then it will go here as well. And that means that we should be able to put down some fields in betwixt these two points. Uh, where's the line? There. So I want the classic 8x15 if we can get away with it. Can we get away with it? Ah, we're gonna have to go 9. Alright, just to make it fit in the spot. It should still be enough for one person to handle. Maybe not. I don't know. Well, we'll find out, right? So let's go ahead and get the fields planted. There we go. I want this to be 9 by 15. Beautiful. And then one more. Another one there. That is 9. 9 by 15. Okay, nice long thin fields. Alright, so let's just speed through that because that's quite a lot of clearing they have to do. All our laborers are coming in now to pick up the food that we want to get there. Oh, and also we have ba -ba -bum, some silkworm eggs. Silkworm, some silkworm eggs available. We're going to get 20 of those. Uh, for which we will trade some stuff. Now, we need to get mulberry leaves. We don't have the seeds for it, so we're going to have to buy as much of this as we can possibly garner. Uh, trying to work out what the best way to do this. So we'll sell all of our feathers, sure. We'll sell all the bone meal again, sure. We'll sell... Oh, I don't know. Uh, the pearls. There we go. Uh, hawk the wine, of course. Classic. Classic. We can extra. Uh, we still have to trade an additional 84 units. Oh god. Okay. Um. Here we go. Have 21 herbs. Okay. Nice. Sell all that. Good stuff. Good stuff. And uh, that should stop bringing. That should now open up some interesting things for us, uh, including silkworm farms. Yeah, we can do two of them. Two silkworm huts. Okay, and that'll allow us to produce silk. I think in the long run. And I think silkworms themselves, which are actually technically a source of food, as kind of gross as that is. Uh, I don't know, anyone out there eating silkworms in the chat? I doubt it, but if you are, if you're one of those absolute mad lads, let me know. Uh, I'd, I'd definitely like to ask you anything, that's for sure. <laughs> just something. I just, I just want to know how you've chosen to live your life. Uh, I want to say no judgment, but that might be a lie. Um, let's... What's slowing you down, kiddo? Copperware, okay. So, what's the problem? Are you producing? Okay, you got the, you got the furniture. Yeah, there we go. That's good to sell, I guess. Oh, we can just do some water, I suppose. For some reason, that's a market job, but okay. Do watery things, fine with me. Firewood's being stored over there. Okay, there we go. The fields are in and starting to be placed. Lovely. So we got one, two silkworm farms in. Yeah? Okay, cool. Cool, 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 c
cool, cool, cool. There's one. We'll have two silkworms. What, what, what is a, what is a person who works in a silkworm farm called? A silker? Oh shit! Light. That's bad timing. Um, I just, I, I want to know this. What is someone? A sil oh, just a silk farmer. Okay, well that's kind of boring. I thought it'd be something a bit more uh, exotic. Now, do we still get crops from blighted fields? In Rimworld, you don't. But this, it, okay, we do, we do, we do. So the blight will just simply kill the crops. So if, as long as we, uh, hold on, let's get two people working on this. As long as we get uh, just a little bit of, a uh, little bit of the stuff brought in, I won't feel too bad. You know, if we can get like 40% of the yield, that'd be perfect. Okay, and they've stopped. Yeah, they're just picking it up now. Okay. Yeah, well, I mean, that's already, that's that's 30%. Come on, can we get this up to just like maybe, I don't know, if you can get me 400, that's 60% of the yield, I'll be okay with it. Uh, yeah, well, this is not the right season to be losing crops to blight, though. This, that's going to hurt our bottom line a little bit. Alright, well, yeah, let's just go ahead and sort that out. Okay, cool, so that's in. Uh, fields are getting closer to completion, which is nice. These shore huts, yeah, they produce. Uh, I think we probably could do some more fishing. So let's go ahead and get some fish put down. Uh, not put down the fish, but rather get some more fishing docks put down. Um, I guess just actually right over here is kind of turning into another little bit of an industrial area. So we can throw one over there. How about one on this side of our bridge? Oh, that is interfering with that then. It's not ideal. Uh, how much of this can we actually get on the water? Nah. Not the best place, but that'll interfere with that one, so let's rather not. Let's stick it over here. There we go. Okay, so that'll just bring things in there. Cool. And then this one needs to find its little way into town. Yeah, come in like that. Okay. Can you head down here? No. Down there? No. Okay, it's a bit of a walk, but whatever. And then something else we can begin to do. I think, which probably isn't a terrible idea, is to get ourselves some more builders and then uh, start stonifying our central roads here. Because we have a decent surplus. So, 30 there, 60 total. Okay, that gets us going this way. We have 173, right? Yeah. So that's 60 total, that will be 44. Plus on the 44, that's 150. Okay, that's pretty much all our stone, but we've got the main thoroughfare of our town is now stonified and then we'll have to do this one as well. And that'll just really, it really, really kicks up the speed quite a lot. Uh, stone roads make a huge difference. Okay, nice. Farmer, farm, uh, you will farm field onions and you will farm blackberries. Nice. Okay, cool. And let's get the uh, good old country roads placed around here. The classics, of course. Where is your line there? Okay. Can you fit this across here? Yes, there we go. Lovely. So we've got some field onions and we've got some uh, some blackberries. Uh, I read that in the wrong order. You know what I mean. We'll keep the shore free for more fishing activity. In fact, actually, we can throw one down right here. We have such a surplus of labor. We really can't afford to be doing this now, which is nice. And I think it's probably time to look at expanding our housing situation on this side of the world as well. How do we want to do this? Um, we could probably just throw down some wood houses over here and be fine with it, right? Not quite. I'll have to move that road, which I'm fine with doing. So let's move the road. Oh, this one. Let's move this road. It's not perfectly situated. Let's throw down the houses first. So they create like a, like a natural barrier. There we go. And then we can throw down the path again. Okay, nice. Lovely. I really like the look of the country road, much more than the vanilla one. I think it's a lot prettier. Because the dirt path is, it, uh, it doesn't really match the ground, you know? You'd expect this to look a bit more muddy, and the dirt one looks very dry. It's a very minor complaint, I realize. Uh, okay, how many fishermen do we actually need working these works? Working these works, that's Englishing. 100% Englishing, yes. Very good. Alright, so these should go up pretty quick. Unless they're prioritizing the road. That looks like they are. Okay, but you'll see when someone finally steps on one of this, you'll see they like they kick it into high gear. Boop! There she goes. Yeah, no, it, it makes it makes a fair difference. It really does. Uh, they move slow in winter anyway, so you don't really see the effects as well. But in summer, 
boy oh boy does that make a difference. And like having this road going out here be stone will help a lot with food collection. So worth considering. Also we can turn this uh, forester back on. 12, there we go. Cut and plant please. Do we have enough foresters now? Yeah, looks like it. Okay. Cool. Alright, that should just... Because our, our supply of logs is starting to dwindle. We are taxing it pretty heavily, I suppose. Uh, you're producing joists. Right. You require furniture copperware. You require joists. Yeah. We still need to make a brickworks, though. Are you producing clay? Yes, you are. Oh, trader. You have... Pub meals. Those are food, right? Ah, it's fine. Just uh, dismiss him. Don't need anything from you. Cheers. Yeah, bye bye. Alright. Uh, you are producing joists. Yeah, you're bringing building supplies with brick, joists, and logs. Anything else we can use? We don't have to make joists. We could make copper pipe, I suppose. Because you can produce. Copperware? No. You can produce copper. And then we could work that, work that into copper pipes. Not here, though. So you take copperware. Okay. That's something we can sort out. You could be made to work with logs and bricks. Okay, so we need bricks either way. So let's go ahead and produce bricks. Um, bricks, 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 where are the bricks? Brickworks. Yeah, we haven't got one of these yet. Alright, where can we stick a brickworks? Right in there, we're good. But no, it looks like we are starting to encroach on the town a bit here, so let's sort of space this out. Uh, that is where the clay is being collected, so it kind of makes sense to stick it down here somewhere, if possible. Not quite. I wish you didn't have to place the road bits, because otherwise I could have made that fit somehow. Uh, yeah, maybe just, you know, stick it on the new the new industrial area that's cropping up over here. There we go. Okay, start encroaching on our food reserves even more. That's a good idea. Definitely no repercussions to doing that whatsoever. Alright, more food. That's what I'm hearing. We do still have reserves, and uh, early winter has come, so it is not going to get much better. We need to be mass harvesting once again. Uh, I think we probably need to be ramping up the, uh, yeah, the fishing docks as well. 20, 20 fishermen. Excellent. What do you work as, sir? Why are you free? Citizen has no job. He's a forester. Okay, we have a surplus, I suppose, of foresters. There we go. Okay. So, now we can go ahead and put in... Yeah, no more, no more extra people working. Yeah, okay, good. So you're a hunting blind, yeah, you can go and get me some ducks and feathers and such, I suppose, just for the lols, why not? Uh, maybe he'll produce enough to feed himself, that's all I ask. Alright, we really need to bring in food just everywhere. Uh, that's going to cut into the gatherer's hut, I don't really want to step on their turf too much, so up here is probably better. There we go. Alright, so where are my laborers, what are they doing? Those ones are across the water, he's working, allegedly. Okay, sure, if you say so. Indy's working too. Where are you going, Indy? What you up to, girl? Uh, we got oh yeah, full stone production coming in. Nice. Yeah, look at them zoot. So fast. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, they all they aren't really staying on the main road, but they are using it temporarily, I suppose. So where's the main traffic? It's actually not this. It's it's this. That's got a lot of traffic, and this one going up is a lot of traffic. Realistically, we're going to have to, you know, convert most of our roads over to stone to really get the effects because you want them you want them on stone roads like 90% of the time if you can help it. Okay, that's number 46 right over there. Sure, it'll just get done as the miners produce it. That's fine with me. Okay. Okie dokes. So, what's happening over here? Uh, how is our new fisherman holding up? 103. It's it is winter, so you know pickings will be slow. But still, we did manage to stave off starvation that month. That's good. That's good. Uh, especially for the people not starving. I'm sure they really appreciate it. Let's also drop down the number of builders. We don't need them all working. Uh, this can go up to two. There we go. Get the silk farming going. So you consume mulberry leaves, and you output silk cocoons. Now, how do we turn the silk cocoons into usable cloth? 
refining materials, seamstress, no, weavers, linen, cloth, and silk. Yeah, okay, that's what we need. We need a weavers guild. Uh, that'll fit right there, perfect. Nice, how's that for spacing, huh? Beautiful. And people can come through this thing. What's this, building supply? Okay, cool. Oh, oh, the first hungry people are beginning. Uh-oh. Go find some food, buddy. Uh-oh. You ain't got no chows. So which house is the one without food? Yeah, he's gonna die. But which house is the one without food here? Yeah. Don't go to school. Ah, he's dead. Yeah, everyone to see this poor dude hungry as hell. They've all got food. It's a communal community, and yet they still don't give him anything. Ain't that just the way it is, man. Oh, we should also really have been putting down fields in winter. Oopsies. I did a boo-boo. Uh, 9 by 15 right over there. Lovely. Can we take one this side? 9 by 20, 9 by 15. Oh, this can go down to 8, I suppose. Oh, 9's the width, damn it. Alright, 9 by 15 it is. Alright, and if we have to up the number of people working it, we have to up the number of people working it. It is what it is. I think I've got some onions growing in little little circlets. Those are kind of cute looking. Hmm. I don't think I've ever eaten a field onion before. I wouldn't even know what that is. Alright, uh, we could also do another orchard. Those do really smack out the food. Uh, do you have food for me? Ah, uh, not really. Uh, let's buy like 50 pub meals just so we have them. 250 units? Easy. Uh, what do we want to produce here? Maybe just this? Yeah, like 70 should get us close. Overpaying by 30, really. Uh, so what, the 60 and then just make the difference? Yeah. Make the difference with like, uh, something shitty. Uh, there you go. Seven feathers, three reeds. There's our 10 supply. Okay, beautiful. Trade it all. And we're done. Okay, nice. Nice, nice, nice. So, how much does a duck blind produce? Absolutely nothing, apparently. Where is my hunter? Getting food. Yeah, everyone's kind of just getting food all the time. Which makes me a little bit worried. We do have over 250 or 225 people in here, though, which is kind of cool. That labor is going to die. Uh oh, isn't that part of our nomad row? Was this was this was nomad row down here? Yeah, I'm kind of a bit scared to expand any further because I feel like we're probably going to start hitting a wall with regards to production. But that is kind of coming up on time for today, guys. Um, yeah, you know, it is what it is. Uh, we only have so much time in the day for Banished, and I, I, I do, like I said, um, want to see what you guys think about the series. Do you want to see more of it? Uh, if this video in the next week gets, like, enough comments and likes, I'm not going to set a specific goal, but if I just, if I see enough interest, I will continue the series with pleasure. If not, then this is the last one. Um, if you'd like to know what happens to the town of Beaton, you know what to do. And, uh, otherwise, I will see you in the next one. Cheers.